Good morning. So what inspires our corporation council and I is the fact that when we come to work, we're always looking for ways to remove obstacles and replace them with opportunities. And we know that the pandemic has only exacerbated some of the long-standing challenges that our constituents face every day. That's why a few years back we launched a guaranteed income initiative where we were able to help 110 randomly selected residents receive $400 a month for a year. And we already have some positive outcomes and success stories to share. We've had stories of how now they're able to purchase more groceries, school supplies, medication, and for the first time this year, they'll have a real Thanksgiving. We also launched the Financial Empowerment Center, the only one in New Jersey, where we provide free one-on-one -on -one confidential financial counseling to any resident in the city of Patterson. Again, we have outcomes. We've been able to help hundreds of people improve their credit scores, reduce their debt, and put them on a path to become first-time home buyers, preferably in Patterson, of course. A little partial towards Patterson. And under the leadership of our law director, we launched a driver's license restoration program. We have Patterson residents who have unfortunately had their driver's license suspended because they couldn't pay a fee, a fine, and unfortunately it served as a setback and they were unable to secure gainful employment and their access to health care and education was compromised. And we've been able to help individuals with that. And so today, in keeping with our holistic approach in improving people's lives and removing obstacles and replacing them with opportunities, we're proud to announce that Patterson has received a $600,000 grant to create a community court to provide alternatives to people who get caught up in the court system for low-level offenders who just need an opportunity, not obstacles, to succeed. And so today, we're proud to announce, in addition to this grant, that we will be removing those impediments to progress and we'll be moving forward to make further forward progress. And that was a football reference for, for former Fordham star here, Eamon Abushi. Forward progress in their lives and in keeping with the theme of removing obstacles and replacing them with opportunities. So ladies and gentlemen, proud to introduce our law director who has worked feverishly, vigorously, assiduously on securing this grant, Eamon Abushi. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so first and foremost, I want to thank the Mayor uh, for providing uh, us with this opportunity. I want to thank the Municipal Council as well for their efforts and their buy-in. Um, also up here with me is uh, Iman Bukadum, who is an attorney from uh, the Law Department, will be assisting in implementing this. We also have uh, Kelly Mulligan here from the Center of Core Innovation, who's another partner that's going to assist us in moving this project forward. Um, when I first got here, uh, one of the priorities that I had was improving access to justice and helping reimagining what justice looks like. Um, for far too long, people are put through the criminal justice system that frankly don't need to be there. Uh, they go through the cycle, they go through court appearances, they're arrested, they're faced with fines that they can't pay, and it results in an endless cycle of keeping people trapped in a system. There are some people that need to go through the system and they will continue to go through the system, but there are others who need an exit ramp from the system and need an opportunity to uh, access services. And this community court will provide them with that opportunity. And our goal here is for those individuals who need the off ramp, who need services, and who are offending for reasons uh, pertaining to uh, social justice factors or equality factors or economic factors, get the help that they need so that they're diverted from the court system, their cases aren't clogging up the court system, we can focus on the individuals who should be in the court system, and that member can return to society um, and be a productive member and a contributing member. So um, I am really excited to announce with the mayor and again with the council's assistance, um, this grant, uh, $600,000 grant that was awarded, um, and we look forward to ushering in this program and working with the city council to do so. Did you want to introduce Kelly? Yeah, I did. Yes. Oh, oh. Speak. Uh, next uh, to, to speak about the grant will be uh, Kelly Mulligan from the Center of Court Innovation. Kelly, please. It's your debut here. Thank you. Uh, 
So uh, as, as Mr. Bucci said, um, my name is Kelly Mulligan. Uh, I am the director of New Jersey programs for the Center for Court Innovation, a criminal justice reform nonprofit. Um, I too want to thank um, our new colleagues here and the mayor um, for working with the center over the past year on an assessment project to determine how a community justice approach would look for the city of Patterson. Community justice is a problem solving method often used in lower level municipal level courts and there is a skeletal structure to what these programs look like, but what's critical is that the program is designed to serve the community where it will live. Um, not all two community courts look alike. Um, they can be different in a lot of ways, so the assessment process is embedding ourselves here, talking with as many stakeholders as we can from every different type of jurisdiction, from the courts, um, business uh, community, uh, different treatment providers, different social service entities, religious leaders, and community activists, to find out what problems look like on the ground, and how this type of an approach can help to resolve those issues over time. So we were excited to be part of the assessment um, and very excited to be able to continue this journey with the city um, as they will be receiving both funding um, from BJA and technical assistance from the Center for Court Innovation. Thank you. Also want to point to the fact, just to use as a frame of reference, Jersey City, Newark, they have community courts. So along the lines of the two largest city, now Patterson, will be proud to say that we have a community court. And as stated earlier, not to belabor the point, we are here to help. And there are individuals, like you said, get caught up in the system and it clogs up the system. So there's a win-win benefit to this community court in the city of Patterson. So in the same vein where we launched our guaranteed income initiative and the, the financial empowerment center and the driver's license restoration program, which is gonna be wrapped up into this, we are proud to say that Patterson, thanks to this $600,000 grant, will have a community court to better serve Pattersonians. Thank you very much. Sure, and that's a great question. Um, we had a meeting earlier today with the Public Safety Committee um, of the Municipal Council, and, and we addressed some of these things. This community court will look exactly how the council and the administration want it to look. Uh, there will be a list of uh, offenses that will be eligible for uh, diversion, um, and there will be a criteria listed as well in terms of what types of offenses, what types of services can be provided, uh, is a person a reoffender and things of that nature. So at this point, we're looking to address um, disorderly persons offenses, uh, uh, crimes including drug possession, uh, petty thefts and things of that nature. And we're looking uh, to see if there are underlying issues that cause this person to offend that can be addressed. So a complete list of uh, offenses will be developed. Um, we expect uh, very soon in working with the administration and the municipal council. And once we have that list, we'll have a better idea in terms of the types of offenses that will be addressed. How long do you think the program would last? A year, two years, one year? It's a good question, and thank you for that. So um, this grant um, provides us with um, enough funding to have the, the uh, community court go for at least four years. And that's going to be a critical period because over the next few years, uh, when the program is up and running, and hopefully it'll be up and running uh, shortly, but when that program is up and running, it'll be a work in progress. So we'll be able to see what's working, what's not working. And one of the exciting things about a community court is that it allows us to address the issues in our community and provide services to our community. So we can take advantage of a lot of the community-based organizations that Patterson is known for in helping our residents. We can also do things like partner up with uh, the local community college, uh, Passaic County, and uh, offer services through the, the college and possible education and training. We can work on things like license restoration. We can work on things like expungements. So we really are looking to uh, streamline our criminal justice system and not have it be a revolving door. When people come in, we can provide them services so they don't have to stay in the criminal justice system. They can move on. And again, we can focus on the issues that are really impacting our communities. So. Well said. Couldn't have said it better myself. And thank you, Deputy Mayor Pilar Rivas, for joining us. We appreciate your time, and we look Thank you, and we look forward to this initiative in Patterson. Thank you.